Trafficking and prostitution of women and girls for sexual exploitation and profit is a major and increasing global problem. During the past decade, Sweden has actively taken important legal and preventive measures within the field of prostitution and human trafficking for sexual purposes. Sweden was the first country in the world to introduce a law in 1999 prohibiting the purchase of sexual services. In Sweden, we don't have problems with women in prostitution. We have problems with men who buy sexual services. Uh, the law against uh, the purchase of sexual services has had the effect on street prostitution at first. And that was one of the main objectives, that you wanted to reduce street prostitution. And it has been reduced to 75% today. And also, um, we can see that Sweden is not so attractive for traffickers because they don't earn as much money they want to, because this is a poor market for them. So they turn their activities to countries where prostitution is legalized instead. When it was introduced, the public was, some of them at least, against the legislation. Today, the attitudes have changed, and we know for a fact today that more Swedes than other people are against buying sex. In 2008, the Swedish government adopted a national action plan for combating prostitution and human trafficking for sexual purposes. The plan covers five priority areas. Greater protection and support for people at risk, more emphasis on preventive work, higher standards and greater efficiency in the justice system, increased national and international cooperation, and a higher level of knowledge and awareness. The link between trafficking and prostitution is the demand, the buyers of sexual services. Without any demand for sexual services, there wouldn't be any prostitution or any trafficking. I think it's important for, for, the, for the buyer, the buyer of sexual services, to, to see the link that he is a sponsor of a huge uh, criminal uh, organization. Thanks to the action plan, we, can, we have the possibility to, to spread the knowledge. I would say that uh, almost all the countries in the world have taken a, a clear stand against uh, trafficking in human beings, but the, the view against, uh, about prostitution is, is uh, still different. An important part of the uh, Swedish action plan is uh, support of the victims, uh, about the safe return, and, but also uh, about their stay here in Sweden before it's time to get, get back. The consensus among Swedish experts is that there is an urgent need to increase and strengthen international cooperation to combat this serious violation of human rights, this violation of individuals' human dignity, this barrier to social equality and gender equality. I think it's necessary to combat prostitution, starting with the human rights principles. You know, the United Nations Declaration says everybody is born free and equal in dignity. And some people say, stop there, but it says in dignity and rights. And it's important that you know, do not lose the last part of it, rights. It means that if you treat somebody in a special bad way because of her sex or ethnic origin, etc., you violate the human rights. And that is what is going on when it comes to prostitution. We can't be satisfied only uh, getting those convicted committing crimes here in Sweden. We must reach further to those who organize these activities in, in uh, the countries of origin and, and transit, for instance. In Sweden, human trafficking and prostitution are regarded as being intrinsically linked. Societies that claim to defend principles of legal, political, economic and social equality cannot therefore allow human trafficking and prostitution to flourish. Yeah, we, we share the same view that trafficking is a horrible uh, crime and needs to be combated. We don't share the same view when it comes to prostitution and that makes it difficult sometimes to cooperate. Democratic societies who allow prostitution have a problem because it is contradictory to what democracy really is like. So you can actually not defend this situation that we have in many different countries. It is of course important that we have international conventions, that we have conferences, that we have the UN protocol, etc. Obviously it is not enough. More has to be done.